you can pull this prop lock easily. Hello folks, welcome again to my channel, I'm going to show you in this video, in short video, I'm going to show you how you can change these prop locks in this, uh, this machine, stay tuned. We want to use, of course, the two prop locks and then the anti-seize dielectric uh, grease for the boots and then 14 millimeters um socket 38 ratchet extension two plastic tools to remove the uh, the coil coil cover just in case uh got a magnet and a little pick to remove whatever clip electrical clip we have all right in this case we want to take it out the uh the cover for the coal pack this, uh, this tool is special for uh, removing parts and in interior cars and interior things. You don't want to damage anything around the, the head cover, uh, the valve cover uh, right here, you can see. So uh, we want to remove the plastic for, all right, just let's get it like a pry like this from the top. If in case uh, you don't have that tool, like a plastic tool, uh, we can use a little uh, flathead uh, screwdriver and then try to put it in uh, between with a little rack, put it like, like right here in the top, that way you don't have any damage. And then it goes all the way like this. And then you can remove it to the bottom part. You go like this it's like a little plastic with the clamps and all the way around to the top part right here now uh, it's time to remove the uh, the, uh, the coil connector electrical connector is like a, with a, a little pick like I show you pull it you can pull it right here like at the top just a little bit and then goes pull it to the bottom we can use pliers like this this kind or if you don't have any like this uh these kind of pliers to remove the uh, the coal pack i mean the coil uh you can use a screwdriver too be careful just try to pry from here the coil the same screwdriver flat screwdriver you can you can put it right here in the top of the, the, the head try to cover this part and then try to pry bar try to pry the coil like this there's two sides it's kind of easy to remove it like this there you go we have the coil Remove it, and then you want to use the uh, extension, six-inch extension, three-eighths, and then uh, we're gonna use the uh, socket, fourteen millimeter socket. Make sure the tools all the way in. Unscrew the uh, spark plug. Oops. There we are. Okay. With the uh, magnet, 
you can pull this prop lock easily. Put on a little bit of uh, anti seize and then it's prop lock. Putting in right in the socket. Start uh, by hand. I'm gonna put the specs in the description below about the torque. And then we can put the uh, the boot back, just clean it up. Use a little bit of uh, the electric grease to put right in the boot. That way, we have contact and very good. Always remember how you take it out the, the, the coil with the connector to the, to the bottom and push it all the way in. this all right and make sure the connector is good until you hear the click okay. all right you can see the little channel right here is where's the they go the the uh, connector to the spark plug so you can start Put in from the bottom part, and then you can see the little uh, uh, edge right in the top part. So that edge is gonna be go first, right here pushing, and then make sure the cable is all the way in, and then on the way you here clicks. Make sure it's all the way from the bottom, right here. Uh, that's it. It's the same, uh, the same procedure to the left side to the engine. Now, as you know, this engine is a boxer engine. Only have two spark plugs, and that's the same, the same steps to the other side. All right. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.